Good morning, Teddy. How we doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. It's a cool morning in Chicagoland. Uh, send a little of that cool air down to Florida, could you? It's a little hot and humid as we kick <laughs> it off just September. just today. <laughs> Literally, it's been so Right? Hot no, humid. it's, it's we're, <laughs> hey, we're coming into September. I said today uh, in Florida, I said, you know, in the next month or two, we'll start to get some cool weather, which is the real deal. Um, but mm -hmm. that alone, encouraging as we wrap up, you know, July, August, and hopefully hurricane season kind of rushes through as well uh, as we're right. kind of in that peak season. Obviously, those poor people send our hopes out to, in New Orleans. You know, Absolutely. Florida, of course, we're always kind of keeping our fingers crossed down here as well. Uh, so where do we start off, Teddy? We have a little bit of movement this past week, a uh, mm. little bit of movement across the board. What are you looking at to start things off uh, across the board in Forex here? Well, it's actually been a kind of a swinging morning because, you know, the dollar got beat up yesterday and then all of a sudden it bounced really nicely. And it had a lot of follow through early today. Like originally the dollar was very strong this morning early, um, but now yes. it's getting hit across the board. Now, the one thing I would have to say is, um, and I've been, this has been kind of a little tone I've had for the past couple of weeks is some of these markets have been trending like severely, either bearish or bullish and what have you, depending on the cross. But then not all of them are, are coming off of highs and lows, like for instance, like the pound and stuff like that, you know? So certain markets, I think right now where they're strong versus the dollar in a short term, you know, intraday basis right now, um, I think you're, you should have to look at them as more of um, corrections than the beginning of new trends, you know, unless they are going with sure. a longer term trend. OK, you know, so um, if there's where would you like to start? You want to start with the European? You, well, I got a chart of the I got a chart of the pound up here. Let's start with that. Okay. Why not? Because I got the daily up of uh, the pound and I see what you're okay. talking about in terms of uh, we're trading 137.90. Quite the run we've had, whether you back things up in both directions. But what are you looking at with the pound versus the dollar? OK, well, the pound versus the dollar, this is one where in the very long term, it's neutral to bullish. Um, it's been sideways to lower, obviously, over the past few months. OK, now you can see it right now that the wave that it's going right now, it's pushing. It made a higher move high yesterday, and now it's trying to make make a run for it again. The low that it came off of a week ago, that's a higher move low. OK, so right now we have a pretty positive form as far as for the pound as far as strength and overall the pound versus most currencies is strong right now however the british pound has been having a little bit of a sell-off against some of the other crosses and that's more of i think i think a profit taking move once again meaning they're counter trend reactions right now i wouldn't think look at look at them as actually new trend reactions okay so this is where i think you really have to look at the dollar and be, use caution we're coming into a holiday market okay unemployment is going to be huge on Friday okay and you know, I was listening to you earlier talk about the employment numbers about how all of a sudden we're starting to see that we're not really pushing so much in the right direction you know sure. and I don't know about how things are in Florida like you know I told you a couple of weeks ago how there's been businesses that are closing like every week now you're hearing of new places closing in Chicagoland you know so yeah. as the PPE runs out and they they can they can start closing you know they had to keep people employed for a while and especially a lot of bars and restaurants the restrictions are coming back in Chicagoland and we can't go through this again if we go through this again you're looking at seeing a lot of small businesses shutting shuttering you know yeah so and this is going to have a big impact even on the real estate market which hits the interest rate market and then the currency market yeah, I'll tell you, you know, we, we don't have many restrictions in Florida, but just from a life perspective, restrictions or not, man, um, my family, many families, you, you can't quite live the way you want to be socially, you know, and with mm -hmm. that said, I might go to a hotel or something, it's just not the same, you know, it's not the same sure. as in it's a factor, at least in your head, right. which uh, as long as it's a factor in everyone's head, we're not going to be back to those levels. And we're definitely not back to what right. we all wanted, which was that huge sure. rebound, right? You know, that right. we just rip open. Sure. Um, and I, I still think we'll get there. But man, we're just not there right now. Not in sure. my head, not in Florida. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, remember, the lockdowns are affecting the currency markets, you know, see, right now, there's strength in the Australian dollar. This is just a short term bounce. You know, I was so. waiting to get to this one, man, because that is quite a little pop, uh, yeah. you know, what, 71 to almost 73.50. Yeah, absolutely. But like you say, in context of where we've been, man, um, yeah, interesting, though, the, the run. So right. you're looking at basically just a, a bounce there and, and still the trend being to negative absolutely. territory? Okay. Absolutely. And here's where I, the way I see it is. It's very easy to pounce on the dollar right now in a short run daily basis. But as soon as you see a reason to be a dollar bull, the other currencies fall by the wayside. 
right now, you know? So, and that's where you have to be leery. Like right now, I think it's a trap, you know, like, like the pound is the one market where I think that has a very neutral basis versus the dollar because you have a divergence, you know, like the, the euro is very strong right now versus the dollar too. But if you watch the way they've traded over, especially the last week, on almost every single day, the Swiss had the biggest range of those currencies. It had the biggest solid body of momentum also, you know, and that's something where I look at today, like the US dollar yen made a higher move high today. Now it's lower on the day. Okay. Yeah. So, as you're, if you look at what the real strong currencies and flight to quality currencies, how they've been reacting and how now like the pound is moving in the euro, that's why the dollar index is under pressure. It's just a short term little glitch before, you know, once this thing blows off, you know, the Australian dollar, the lockdowns aren't stopping right now. There's no. Sure. I was surprised to see that one. even as a counter trend. Right. Because it just right. uh, it's quite a <laughs> pop even in the face of what's happening. Yeah. So and especially with the yen. And here I, t I talked to somebody in Singapore on Monday. They were they took they took a 12 day whatever trip whatever. Had just gotten back to Singapore and they said that when they got back they're in full lockdown. Now full lockdown there is full lockdown. You're not going yeah. anywhere. You know, and right. that just started there. And I said, well, so what about other areas around there? Are they starting to look like they're going to lean that way? He's like, yeah. And he's like, when they lock down here, it's not like in the U.S. Right. You know? no, so is, if yeah. that trickles to Asia, Japan, the, the, the yen, this is going to become an issue. You know, it really will. Sure. So I think you're still going to see a big rally in the U.S. dollar yen. Um, U.S. dollar Swiss, I think it's ready. It's poised for a breakout. I think it's only reason that the Swiss is lower today right now. Um, originally, it was higher on the day, the U.S. dollar Swiss. And I yeah. think it's just because the dollar's under pressure. So I'd be very leery being a dollar bear right now in whatever currency cross that you're trading just because I think that it's too easy for that to turn. And when it spins, it's going to spin violently, especially with interest rates the way, they, the way they're fluttering around right now. You know, Friday is going to be it's going to be a bond number if the bonds have a big move. You know, Friday could be a, one of those days where you see a three dollar range in the, in the U.S. Treasury bond market and sure. the 10 year market, you know, and when you have that, that means you could have a three dollar range in the euro. You know, it's just jerking around. So I would say be careful of the algo. Um, the computers could really start swinging come, you know, Friday morning's trade. And we're in front of a holiday that could be illiquid within markets. I like the fundamental take, man, I do. Because as much as, you know, I talk about, just like you're saying, it's a tough situation with the lockdowns. I think mm -hmm. it's going to persist across you know the globe and and and, yeah. and that's going to weigh just like you're talking about in singapore and and yeah those shutdowns are harsh man the u.s probably unfortunately just ahead of the curve um right. with these with this wave and we yeah. we got touching oil man oil trading a little bit lower today 67.51 going to 100 baby it's going to i like it baby i like it well teddy man have a great labor day weekend man and enjoy that, enjoy right, that cool too. weather we'll talk I to will. you next week thanks teddy thanks check them out every